Today, I have to show you the amazing, wonderful, beautiful, stunning, fabulous, fantastic, majestic, spectacular, versatile, and all the other good words, Prada, drawstring, wristlet, pouch thing. I watch Sophie Chauhet. She is one of my favorite YouTubers, and I think she's wonderful and fabulous and all the things that this bag is. However, she recently said something in a video that I disagree strongly with, so I have a bone to pick to see what it is I disagree so strongly with Sophie Chauhet about. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Bottom Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high end. Luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's talk about this Prada bag. I'm going to show you, one, how this bag looks when you buy it, which is different than how most people carry it. Two, different strap options. Three, ways to dress it up. Four, a few things some other people may never have told you in all the other YouTube videos that are out there on this bag. Five, where you can find this cheaper than retail and still brand new. And six, I don't know. I'm sure I will come up with other things to say about it. It's fantastic. Before I undo this to show you how it comes to you when it's brand new, let me show you how I have it configured right now. The strap that I'm using is the patent leather strap from my Longchamp Extra Small sequin bag. I have that attached to this chain, which is from Dress Up Your Purse. I have a discount code for Dress Up Your Purse that is linked below in the description box, so go check that out. I'm going to show you a few things from them today. That chain, let me take the strap off so you can see the chain better. Strap on, strap off. That was a little joke for Winnie B. L. V., who, by the way, gifted me this bag for Christmas very, very generously, and I have carried it almost every day since because it is so fantastic. So this chain, which you just saw laying like that, can also be used as a little short handle, which is very convenient. This bag does not come with a strap on it other than a wristlet strap, which I'll show you in a minute. So what I've done and what other people do is you loop that through two of the rivets there and that creates a way to put a strap on the bag. I have this chain because I didn't have any silver O-rings at the time. I do have some today that I'm gonna show you so we can see the difference between the chain and the O-straps, how that might look different. What I want you to notice right now with the chain attached is that for me, I think that this chain could be a little longer. I think it's just slightly too short in this configuration. I think if I have the O-rings on it and it hangs from that, it'll be the perfect length. So we're gonna try that. Also, it gets in the way a little bit of these little drawstringy thingies. And then when I attach a strap to it, it pulls the chain up even more because instead of the O-rings hanging down, now they're up. So it shortens that length even more. So we're gonna change that and try it out. Let me show you how I have this bag set up right now, and then we'll move on to other things. All right, here is how this bag looks as it comes to you. So it does not have a chain, it does not have O-rings, does not have a strap, at least a shoulder or crossbody strap. It does have this little wristlet strap here, which connects via this little D-ring. Silver hardware, this particular bag is black. It does come in other colors. Those are more difficult to find than the black. A couple things about this bag, just to show you some details. Each of these silver metal rivets says Prada on the front and the back. The little buckle on the wristlet strap on one side is etched with the word Prada. The leather trim on the strap and this little piece here, it's the only leather on the bag. Those are Prada Saffiano. Let me give you a little spin. The front, the side, the back, the other side, and the bottom. So no feet, but of course it's a wonderful thick nylon. It's wipeable. It has the little Prada logo on the front. There is a piece of Saffiano leather behind that. That logo is metal in black and silver on mine. Styled by Gwenny has this exact back, but her Prada logo is red instead of black, still with silver hardware. So that's how it comes. And what most people do, and there are plenty of videos on this, is you take the wristlet strap off, you store that somewhere, and you get yourself some O-rings. In this case, these are from Dress Up Your Purse, and these are the ones that I would recommend because it's not just the circle, it has this little extra loop, and that allows you to attach your strap to that, which I think not only looks better, but gives you a little more security because you don't 
have the option of that accidentally coming open. Not that that's gonna happen anyway, but it's a nice little feature. These are the ones you want. Melody at Dress Up Your Purse sells these in silver and in gold, so if you need them for any other bags, for example, if you have a strap or a D-ring on the outside of a bag, you can clip that on and then hang a bag charm from the little loop here. I've used my gold ones for that before. Here's how you convert this bag into a crossbody bag. You take this bag and you go to the side where the seam is and these two rivets that are on either side of the seam, there's just enough room in there for you to be able to slip the O-ring through there and have it attached like this. So you can see there that's attached through two loops. There's the interior view. And then you do it to the other side and that very simple measure converts this into a crossbody bag. Now all you have to do is attach whatever strap you want to those little loops on the top. I already showed you the patent strap from my long shot bag. Here's my Coach Rexy leather and chain strap with this bag. That looks fabulous. The hardware is darker, it's a gunmetal, but it works well enough. At least it's not gold, that would clash. Dress Up Your Purse also sells this black leather strap. It is slightly adjustable down here on each end and it comes with silver hardware. And that clips onto those O-hooks and looks fabulous. This strap is about an inch, maybe a little more than an inch thick, I would say, whereas my patent strap was about half that size. And I think either of those, and of course the coat strap was quite a bit thicker, uh, either of those look great. Here's the strap on my shoulder, and then here it is crossbody. Now that works perfectly crossbody, I love it. The patent strap looked identical. It hangs to the same length. I will say that I tend to carry this bag not cinched. If you cinch it up, it makes the bag sit higher on you. It sits in a weird place for me like that. So I much prefer it uncinched where it sits lower. The strap, this is the first time I've put it on. It is super, super comfortable. I like that a lot. There you go. Let's try that chain on it. So remember I told you I think it'll sit a little lower and be more at a length that I prefer with these o-rings on it. And it does. It is just long enough now where it doesn't get in the way of the Prada logo and it doesn't really get in the way of the drawstring either. I think that looks perfect. That's a much better length. That's really pretty, I like it a lot. And then when you take that wristlet strap off, you're left with this little D-ring here, which is the perfect spot to put a bag charm. By the way, it also says Prada on the side of that D-ring. Here's a little black tassel with silver hardware from Dress Up Your Purse. So that's how that would look. That works well. And here's a more obvious colorful bag charm from Coach, just to give you a sense of what some different bag charms might look like. And I have two more straps I wanna show you on this bag, again, to give you an idea of how different things might work or might not work on this bag. One is this silver chain. This is from Coach Outlet. These are about $15. So if they have that available, I will link that below for you. That looks nice. This is long enough where I don't think I'd wanna carry it on my shoulder because it hangs too low, but it would be great for crossbody. That's a very comfortable length right there. The other strap will be more decorative, and I noticed as I was looking at my straps today, I really don't have many decorative straps. I need to get a few more. This is the Gucci strap from my Dionysus Hobo right behind me there. That's the only colorful strap I have with silver hardware so i thought i would try that just to give you an idea because these seat belt kind of straps are really popular now this would be a good shoulder length probably not so much crossbody i know that sits too high but because it's a solid colored piece you could pair it with any strap you want and it would look fantastic now i don't know how you might feel about mixing brands like this but this is just to give you an idea in a recent video which i will have linked below sophie showhead was talking about some luxury bags that were under I think it was 680 pounds, which is probably closer to a thousand US dollars. One of the bags she mentioned was this, the Prada drawstring wristlet pouch thingy. Not technically a handbag, but a lot of people, myself included, have converted it into one, which I will be talking about today, and which she also mentioned on her channel. What I disagree with is she said that even though this is one of your options, that she recommended a Givenchy bag very, very similar to this, but that comes with the strap and is technically a handbag. She recommended that bag over this one. I would have to strongly disagree. She did mention that she had originally talked about this bag 
a year or two ago and that at that time it was 180 pounds but now at the current time it had jumped up to 480. She recommended instead this Givenchy bag. Now my problem with this because this was a video about bags that are very affordable this Givenchy bag she said was 680 pounds which is quite a bit more than this bag. Now in US dollars this bag is 525 and that Givenchy bag is 990. That's a huge difference. It's almost twice as much. That and the fact that those bags are almost identical is why I disagree so strongly. I think this is a much, much better value, and especially since it's basically the same bag and certainly the same quality. Technically, this is not a handbag. Technically, it is a wristlet pouch. I will take my decor off of it in a minute and show you the bag naked and how it comes to you originally. But she said in her video, this bag and the Givenchy are exactly the same dimensions. They're both nylon, they're both drawstring, they're both shaped the same. The Givenchy has a strip of leather on each side and then D-rings on each side where it has the leather strap attached. And the Givenchy on the drawstring had a metal piece instead of this leather piece to move up and down and cinch the bag closed. That's the only thing this bag doesn't have. I don't think those differences, considering what you can do with this pouch, are worth twice the price. I love Sophie nothing at all against her. I just disagree with that one recommendation. Now before we wrap up, I want to show you what I have in this bag because it holds a ton. It's a pretty small bag, but it holds so many things inside. It's very spacious. And I want to show you what the inside of the bag looks like empty so you have an idea of the quality of the piece. So here's the inside, just so you can see how much I have it stuffed and that there's still room for quite a few things. I have my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM, pack of tissues, a mask, pack of Starbucks gift cards, comb, a card holder with my medical cards that I need to sort out, get that situated, a pen, eyeglass cleaner and a cloth, my keys, been looking for those, my Chanel flap card holder, which is quite bulky at the moment, my Louis Vuitton eyeglasses case PM, that's the smaller of the two sizes, my phone, that's an iPhone X or 10, and that's everything I currently have in the bag. I've been carrying it, like I said, pretty much since I got it. The inside of the bag now looks looks like this. You can see that there is a little metal plate there that says Prada Milan. Milano. And then the inside is lined in this fabric that says Prada. There are no pockets inside. There's no organization. That's the one thing that I would change about this if I could change anything. It's just add one little slip pocket, even a little zippered pocket, an organizer for it. Something short so it doesn't disrupt being able to cinch it, but something with a couple of slip pockets so I can put my phone, I always know exactly where that is, and a card holder, I always know where that is. That would be helpful. I would also say with cinching it, it's a little difficult at first, but it gets easier the more you do it. So that's something to be aware of. Other than that, it is basically the perfect bag. So I would suggest, if I may, that Sophie Chauhet next time considers recommending this bag, maybe in addition to the Givenchy. I'm sure that's a fabulous bag as well, but for someone who's looking for a bargain, this is 100% the way to go. There are some websites where you can get this under retail. I have started running into these websites more and more. Satir is one of them. They may be sold out at this time, but last time I checked, they still had them. I'm so new to those websites, I don't know how long they tend to have things in stock. I'm not that familiar with them yet. But there seem to be some overseas websites that I don't know how they do it with duties and customs and all those things, but they tend to have prices that are lower than buying them in the US for European companies like Prada, like Saint Laurent, Fendi, Gucci, those kinds of brands. They, Versace, they won't have Louis Vuitton. They won't have Chanel, they won't have Hermes, but they will have the other brands, Prada being one of them. I saw this in December. Like I said, retail here is 525. They had it for like 370 something. There you go. So I'll link all of those below so you can check them out. And I'll just link the general website because they won't all have this piece in particular, but they might have something else you're looking for. One of them has a YSL bag that I'm looking at that's about $150 off. Even with tax, I can get it below US retail. I'm seriously considering it. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.